Hello, after a little bit of break, I'm back again with another video. So in this video, uh, we're going to create this. The first is the blending of two videos or two images together. And then we look at the how to create this text uh, animation using the rotoscoping mask. So let's get started with blending of two videos. So first, let's uh, bring in our videos down to the timeline. So let's place this one on video track one and this on video track 2. Now we need to go to the effects and then uh, look for rotoscoping mask which is under the uh, alpha mask and king. So selecting the rotoscoping mask, apply to the top video clip and then right in the middle here, now before we do that, uh, you can when you put the mouse here, you see this little tool, uh, sliding tool here. Uh, what you need to do is uh, if your screen is like this, you can just click the zoom out here to zoom out or if it's too small you can click here to zoom in and once we have that now we just want to make some little zigzag around this so uh, let's cut this little girl here something like that and then make a complete set of this thing so just draw a box around here and do a right click to complete this so with that come to the properties in the invert here i just want to invert this image to the other side so come here just invert that and then in the pedal width just bring this little bit up like this and then the pedal width like that and now we have this beautiful blending of two images together so that's the first example a blending of two images now let's look at how we can create this kind of uh, animation text here using the rotoscoping mast let's delete this one and uh, go to the project bin and uh, we just want to see our different videos here so just bring this one down here and um, we're going to copy this video again into two so let's uh, right click and copy and then paste this one and place this on video track three and uh, here we just already create a text now if you don't know how to create a text you do a right click here and you click on the add title and you can create the text right in here okay since i already got my text just bring this one here and then make it to be equal to the length of the clip now what i want to do is to go to the effects again and using the rotoscoping mask apply to the top video clip and then from here we can just do a straight cut click from the top and then click from the bottom here you can adjust it to make it more a little bit straight like that and then click here click here and then do a right click to close this up and you can see the text popping out here and we come to the invert here and we do the inverting the opposite now that's not all we need to do we need to apply the transform to the text so to do that again go to the effects panel you can just simply type in uh, transform here and then we bring the transform here apply to the text now once you apply to the text uh, from the properties of the text here the x value click and hide the text right inside there and now what we need to do just bring the playhead somewhere here add a keyframe then bring it a little bit up here add another keyframe and then click the x value to slide the text out like that and that's like that so here you have the text popping out from the screen right inside here so that's the first example using the text here so the second example I wanted to note of you can always uh, create a sequence out of this one so once we create this text uh, we can do a shift button and create a rubber select and then you can do a right click and you can create sequence from this selection so once we create that you can see three uh, sequence and video track three and then let's click ok okay so we just want to delete this uh, go to the project bin and you can see our sequence with the sequence number three is right here just bring this one down and uh, let's just play the clip and you can see that it comes the text just pop out from here so again with this you can always um, double click to go back out again from the sequence and if you want to do some little tweaking to the clip here so to create this let's just delete the first clip here and then delete the transform from this one here and all you need to do is apply the mask to the text clip so uh, rotoscoping mask so once we apply the rotoscoping mask to the text uh, what we need to do is just create a little 
rectangle around the um, clip here, uh, the text clip, and then you can see we just cut out and this is the part that we have. And then from here, you come down to the properties of the rotoscoping mask and in the alpha, change this in the mode, sorry, in the mode here, change to Luma. And you have this nice uh, transparent background instead of the black thing there. And now the next thing is to add a keyframe. So here, uh, we're going to move this one right there. And then we move this one somewhere here. And uh, I think that's the one we want to move it up here. And then you grab onto the rotoscoping mask and just slide like that. Something like that. And here is the final result. So the important thing to do this is to change this to Luma. Okay, so there you go. Uh, three little tips that you can use to create using the rotoscoping mask in Caden Live. Thank you again for watching.